Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to today's video which is going to be my first impression of this one. This finally came, uh, I cannot even believe it was six weeks. It was six weeks, I think, something like that. I think that is really <laughs> exceptional. All right, so this is of course Kaleidos Makeup. This is the Futurism 6 Lunar Lavender Palette. Let me just open this. When this came, it was, it was a, a celebration for the whole family seriously like <laughs> the kids loved the palette for the packaging I love the palette because I love it you know it's beautiful it's really really beautiful and so let me just get this a little bit closer so this is how she looks it is of course a very very tiny palette and I have to say that I want to say that Kaleidos is probably the only brand where I would wholeheartedly go ahead and buy a five pan palette, six pan, sorry, a six pan palette, you know, maybe Jewelry's Place too, because I did, but other than that, you know, seriously, <laughs> because I do have some, a tiny little bit of experience with Kaleidos makeup. I do have two more palettes that also came in the Futurism series. So this was, of course, the uh, VR Neon palette here. Let me just open this for you. This is how this one looked. And then I also have the Electro Turquoise, which looks like this. All the other ones I don't have, which I just cannot believe that that is true. <laughs> but I just cannot, you know, I cannot buy everything. So um, just wanted to show you that I do have those. And actually, I cannot wait to do a combined look with some of those shades and also with this new one. So anyway, this I ordered on release. Like, I was the first one online. I promise you, at least the first one in the Middle East, you know, because I set an alarm and I was sitting there with my credit card, you know? So anyway, so we have, of course, a couple of mats here. Let me just, I hope I don't blind you with this mirror here, one second. Okay, so this one is a mat and these four are mats. And then here we have two very, very exceptional shades here. I don't have, I don't have swatched them. I don't have touched them, anything. But um, I feel like this is gonna be a dual chromy shade. I've actually not really watched a lot of reviews on this. I've seen looks, I've seen looks, but so we shall see because when I know that I want to do a first impression I just don't want to get biased you know so this either there are two duochromes or th this one is definitely I don't know yet uh, if this one is but anyway so I want to do a look <laughs> that's why we are all here and that's what doing uh, that's what we're going to be doing so of course uh, you know that this is going to be my my way of being like relaxed and chatty and we shall see what happens <laughs> So that's what we're doing. Okay, so maybe hmm, let's start out with, I think, the light purple. Where do I have the shade names? Wait, let me just see. That is something that could maybe be nice if the shade names would be on the palette. I'm not too much like in love with stuff like this. Wisteria, Wisteria, I think. All right, so uh, let's put Wisteria down. <laughs> Okay, um, and we are just going to see what happens here with that look. I have something, like, um, I have an idea in my head, which is maybe not too exceptional. I know that people are waiting for me to do my winged out cut creases again. Right now, I don't know. I'm not 100%, like, I'm, I'm not feeling it so much. But um, let me just pat out this. This is the Sigma eyeshadow primer, by the way, my most favorite one. But if I put it on and I don't immediately start working, it does crease here along the crease. So what can I do? All right. Also, what I need to tell you is that I'm working on better lighting. I know um, there was a video, one of my recent videos, where I actually applied makeup where the light was changing. And it is really because... I am um, I'm blocking one of my lights here from the side a little bit with my mirror and I'm actually trying to find a solution for that. So, And then also again, and I've said that so many times, um, that it is a bit hard for me to figure out how different lighting situations affect the, the camera settings, you know, that is also a thing that like nobody can explain to me. And really the tutorials that are online for this um, they are tutorials for professionals who, like, they're full of, me of not of medical terms, <laughs> of, of, like, terms that are for professionals that I really have no idea about, you know? So, anyway, that's not very helpful. So, yeah. So, this already looks beautiful, sweeties. This, this looks like, um, 
like so what's the word like velvet like velvet going on you know so this I really really like so let's see what happens I want to go of course also in that uh, darker shade let's maybe let's just do that just have to find the right brush for this wait where are you <laughs> yeah okay so that is the shade let's see midnight flora I think midnight flora let's put that one on there is not a huge difference in shade here which is I don't know I think for my personal preference, I do understand that this is a lavender palette, okay? So I, it doesn't make much sense to have like a super, super dark um, purple in the palette when you call it a lavender palette, right? So we always have to keep that in mind, that there is a theme behind the palette. Um, but, oh, so beautiful. The, the, it feels, feels so velvety, you know? It's really, really nice. So, um, but still, like for my personal makeup style, that is of course like i i love my dark mattes as you know so but anyway still you know we have to be fair and and see what we're working with and again like when when um there is a theme that i don't like then i'm just not gonna buy it but this is just so it looks so um so soft and and just like it, this is like healing it's healing for the soul you know so <laughs> yeah all right, so I told you this is this is gonna be chatty and probably a little bit messy. <laughs> All right, so I think the blending into each other goes really, really well. I just have to also blend out this purple here a little bit more. I think for that I'm going to first of all pull in my uh, bone color mat. And all of that is also going to be linked, of course, in the description box if you want to check out what else I'm using. All right. So I'm going to just sort of, you know, push it over a little bit over that edge. And then what I usually do is that I'm going in with the lighter shade, if I have one. If I don't, then I'm trying to go in with that same shade, but uh, with very, very little pigment uh, on the brush. Um, but if I do have, like today, because I have that lighter purple, then I'm just going to use that. I'm just swiping off my brush a little bit. And let's see. Because that always helps. And it always feels like, for me, it feels when I put a bone color mat on the um, underneath, it makes the blending out, or like to get a really, really good blend, it makes it much, much easier. So, something like that. I might perfect that still a little bit when I'm doing my other eye, but this is the idea, okay? So what are we going to do next? Because I don't want to drag this out like crazy. Um, I think what I want to do is let's just swatch these two shimmer shades, okay? Let's just see how they look next to each other. Okay, so this is how they look. And you can see, of course, uh, this one is the um, one that I immediately thought that this is going to be duochrome and this is the more softer one. <laughs> Yeah, um, I think what I want to do is that I want to have this featured most because this is, I think, the more spectacular shade. I think this is what I want to have over my lid and then the other one I'm going to save for the inner corner. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's just do that. First of all, I want to have it on my brush without spraying my brush and to see how it reacts because that always gives me kind of an indication of how it is, you know? So the pickup on the brush is okay. Oh, this is already beautiful. Oh, this is so, so pretty. <laughs> All right, so I think this could also work well as a topper shade if you want to use that, um, you know, if you want to just use like um, a very, very thin layer of this. I think it is though it is buildable. So, um, but this could also work as a topper shade. I think for other, for other um, colors to top it off with. So, I think this is gorgeous. This is really really pretty. I am going to though um, use it also on my finger because I want to see. Oh yeah, there is a big big difference. Big big difference, but really really pretty. I mean seriously. This is cool. This is really cool. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my brush for the lighter purple shade and I'm just going to 
sort of blend out this edge here a little bit because I want this to be like super uh, blended <laughs> yeah <laughs> smart remark okay I think this is cool I think personally for me there is just depth missing in the look but anyway I think the next step has to be that darker cool brown which is crater grove crater grove so let me just find the right brush for this I never I don't know <laughs> I don't know all right crater grove I think what is really really cool about this is that um, there is like a um, part gray in this in this brown which makes it cool of course and that is so so nice because these colors look just spectacular with purple so um, and I think also you can see that the, it blends super super well together okay so I'm, I'm gonna do more blending definitely but um, that is just because I'm I'm like that you know I need to have it like <laughs> good as I can okay so this is the idea I'm going to just uh, finish the other eye and then I'll be right back and show you what I've done okay sweeties I'm back <laughs> this is how it looks this is what I was thinking this is what I wanted to do because I kind of wanted to sort of pick up also on the packaging you know I could have done that liner also with a bright pink or something um, but you know what I, there is this there is this light like orange kind of a corally shade here in the packaging on the inside more than on the outside but anyway I kind of felt like this could be sort of in the style of the the thought behind the palette I don't know <laughs> whatever and I also of course wanted to for the first time actually use a pigment from Glimmer that I bought I don't know a year ago and I've not used it yet because I really didn't know how or for what and now that I'm sort of getting into doing like crazy liners um, that could be you know just the thing and I I didn't tell you before that I want to do this because I didn't know yet if these shimmer shades from from Kaleidos let me do it you know so I didn't want to promise something so this is how it looks I <laughs> I don't want to tip it over. So anyway, it's it's the orange shade from Glamier, which is called Tangerine. Okay, so that is what I have. And I also, of course, have a sort of a medium blue eyeliner on my waterline. I did finish my foundation and my color correcting underneath. And now I think for the lower lash line or under the lower lash line, I want to use the browns because um, I think the, the dark brown really, really performed well. The other one I have not used yet. So this one I haven't used yet. This one I have used and that performed super well. So maybe let's just put on that light brown first and see, wait, what's the name? <laughs> Nocturnal. Nocturnal is that lighter brown. It's not really a light brown. It's it's not, but it is sort of like a taupey, taupey brown. So let's just put that on and then in the inner corner, of course, as I already told you, I want to put the other shimmer shade that we haven't used yet. So uh, that is what I'm doing. And as always, because I just really, really like this, I'm always dragging out this part here too because I that's just my thing you know it's sort of it sort of creates the idea of like a double wing kind of <laughs> anyway so that is that um, I did have a bit of a problem with uh, fallout from the from the neon pigment even though uh, it's I don't know you can see maybe already here that it, it has transferred a little bit um, I don't really know how to fix that I don't know but that could also just be because I'm very, very uh, inexperienced with, with working with stuff like this. You know, I have not done that previously and um, I kind of want to get into it. But I, I need time to, to learn, you know, and to get more comfortable with this. So anyway, so now I'm going to just put the darker shade a little bit closer to my lash line. Like this. And I don't... Um, it's gonna be hard to say how they build on top of each other because this this brush here it's um, it's not very good for like putting on a lot of pigment so but I think you can see that it is um, you know it's picking up depth in the look so I hope that is that is what we're getting here okay so now I'm just gonna go in with the other brush again with the lighter brown just going to sort of blend it out a little bit and I think, I think, 
<laughs> this got bigger than I thought. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay, so anyway, and now I'm gonna go in with my... <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't. It cannot stop myself. Seriously, I'm gonna go in with my bone color mat. I just love these. That's what she said. Things, you know. <laughs> I I don't know. I'm just such a kid when it comes to stuff like that. All right. So don't expect me to be holy, sweeties. I'm doing my best, but <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that is that. Something like that. Okay, so now let's work on the inner corner and then uh, basically we have the look together. I see a place here where there is no pigment that we cannot have. Let's just put that right here. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> I think once the whole face comes together, once the lashes are on, once the contouring is done, once I, once I have my lips on and everything, I think it is going to actually look really, really nice. So let's just give this a chance, even though it is kind of a really weird for me to have a look like this. Just sorting out my brushes. And now let's take another brush. And I think I want to actually spray this brush because um, for, this, for this other shimmer shade, which is called, wait, <laughs> Um, dreamscape dreamscape I think this one okay so um, I'm going to put it on the brush and then I'm going to spray the brush let's see how that works because I did have a bit of um, fallout from the other from the other shimmer shade and now that my foundation is on um, I kind of not I don't want that okay so let's just see now this is a super sweet light lavender shade of course so I'm just gonna push it here in the corner I'm trying to not blow it out even too much and maybe just like a little bit into that brown here like this okay sweetie so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get some breakfast I'm gonna get my kids ready for the day and um, finish my face of course also and then I'm going to come back in just a second with the swatches and also with my judgment of the palette and the finished look. sweeties here we are back with the finished look and I think overall the look turned out okay I do have a few things where I think mm, <laughs> but that is not exactly even the palette but let's just see okay so you just saw the swatches and I still have them right here I have to say I don't really agree with the swatches you know because swatching they didn't swatch so well really you know uh, at all especially this one this darker purple matte did not swatch well on me okay so mats don't always swatch well on me or for the most part don't swatch well on me but also like anyway you know also this shade here um this lighter one of the shimmer shades doesn't really show up so much i mean um i think on the eye when i have it in my inner corner it's much better it's much much better and i did build it up it's not like just one swipe you know all of those shades i did build up quite a bit so swatching was not not that not the best not the best at all but i have to say performance on the eyes was really really good like i have no I had no trouble you know yes there was a little bit of fallout of that uh, shimmer that I have on my lid the darker one of the shimmers but that I always have and I personally don't have a problem with that because I'm doing my foundation last I do not know how people do it when they do their foundation first I could not live like this because I can't I just can't so anyway let me just zoom you in and show you again I mean you saw how I created the look for the most part but anyway, I just wanted to show you the thing where I said uh, that this didn't turn out so well is actually has to do with that neon pigment. And I don't want to even say that there is something wrong with the pigment. Um, it is probably, and I also said that already in the, in the application part of the video, that I don't have a lot of experience yet with doing stuff like this. I think it looks incredible. I think it looks amazing, but I do have quite a bit of fallout even now. And now it's like two hours hours after we met before you know um, and I still have like stuff raining down and that is a bit of a 
you know I don't like that so again I did this together with the Doraline from from Inglot and it's just you know I've done this now just for a couple of looks so I'm not super experienced and I've never ever used a loose pigment I've only so far used eyeshadows that I scraped out of the pan and then mixed it with the Doraline so this is the first time I actually worked with a loose pigment it could totally be me that I just need to get better at this and more experienced but anyway so you saw how I created the look I do believe that um, it came across that they, the mattes were super blendable, were really, really nice. The shimmer, I think they could be a little bit more opaque overall. I think that would be nice. Though you can also use them as topper shades like this, you know, even this one in the inner corner, the lighter one of the shimmer shades, you could totally, if that is of course fitting to your skin tone, you could totally use that as a highlighter. I was actually really, really tempted to do that. But um, yeah, so, so that is that. The brown shades in the palette, do they make sense? Yes. Is it my favorite? No. But they make sense because it goes super well together with the lavender. I can totally see that. Also like a gray would have worked or something, you know? I, I totally see that it's not my favorite to have them there, but it totally works. Uh, they also performed well. I have absolutely no problem with that. And, and that is basically it. So staining, I don't know. Buildability is absolutely there, I have to say. Blending you saw. Um, yeah, and that is basically it. I cannot really say that there is a dot in the palette because it is what it is you know there are there are lavender shades they're for the most part really really light shades and again the experience that I had during the swatching is not the experience that I had on the eyes but that is an unprepared arm <laughs> that sounds so weird but it's an un an, an arm a bare arm with with nothing on it you know and here of course I have the eyeshadow primer that is not set on my eyes so there is already the difference you know anyway maybe I should have done the swatches on a prepared paired arm with with something on it I don't know but anyway this is what it is this is what came out and I think it sort of gives you also a nice balanced review sort of between an, a, a bare arm and the performance on the eyeshadow primer so that is basically what I have to say I think my most favorite shade is still that uh, darker this one just show you because it's so beautiful this one is absolutely beautiful again I would love it if it would be a little bit more opaque but anyway it is still super super beautiful and again on the on the eye everything performed super super nice so I think that was a success and I think the look came out super nice so uh, and I also feel like together with that orange liner I sort of captured the essence of this, you know, with the packaging and with everything. I could have also done a neon green liner. I was actually debating if I should, but I went for the orange because, you know, it's kind of boom, you know. Anyway, so I wanted to try that and that's what we did today. So I hope you did enjoy. I'm definitely planning to do a look combining this palette with the other two that I have. And I'm sort of a bit regretful that I don't have all the other ones. The Futurism, I think there were three before that that I don't have especially the green one I really really want that but anyway and then there was of course also the bigger palette that just released at some point you know recently um I also don't have that it's just I cannot buy everything you know I cannot like I cannot run my channel like this but I am in total support of Kaleidos I think they rock I think they have found a niche for themselves to be special and that is so cool that they have something that defines them you know in the packaging in the way they even post their their stuff on Instagram there is this you know there's a reason why they call this the futurism line there is something futuristic something abstract about them which is so so cool and so special it makes them so unique and then the packaging I mean really the packaging is spectacular in every single one of them it feels super sturdy and it's super sleek and also the the outer design is always so on on product like on um, in theme with the product I don't know if one says it like this but you probably know what I mean so I'm I'm absolutely convinced that this is a brand that that has it down you know they know what they're doing and yeah so that is what I feel so let me know what you think I know some of you have this palette you have already told me that you've ordered it some of you have received it some of you will still want to play with it and haven't gotten around to it yet same here <laughs> actually I got this when I'm filming this I got this just two days ago so I'm pretty good this time I'm pretty good 
<laughs> so anyway i hope you're going to see this as soon as i can uh, get this uploaded and uh, yeah so you will have my input on that palette in case you're interested so besides that of course you will find everything that i used in the description box down below along my discount codes and also of course my social media and whatever else you need to know besides that of course i would love it if you were to subscribe to my channel and check out all my other other content because i'm doing a lot of stuff here mostly mostly makeup seriously mostly makeup because i have just refound my love of makeup application on camera which i didn't have for months and months so <laughs> i'm doing a lot of that right now because i'm just feeling it right now you know and there was also seriously there was the demand for it so that is what i'm doing i'm doing lifestyle i'm doing some wrapping tutorials or wrapping related content because it's all part of my life and it's all very very important to me so please feel free to check that out if you like it here feel free to subscribe i would love to have you here and besides that i'm going to see you here for my next video which is going to be super super soon and up until then definitely go ahead and sparkle hugs and kisses bye